News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finished up 70, NASDAQ up 26, S&P's up 7.5. No doubt, market went to Sherman Williams, folks, got that green paint and just had to run it into the close, finishing off the decade of 2010 to 2020. Bottom line is that uh, what I expect we're going to see out here, uh, even Thursday and Friday is that you'll, you'll go after these highs once again. We're in holiday trading, though. That's the bottom line. June, uh, January 6th is when um, real trading uh, will start once again. Gold. Gold contract up $1.80, trading at 1520 an ounce. You had silver down $0.09, cents, $17.91 an ounce. Light sweet crude off $0.53, cents, $61.15 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year down 8 ticks, trading 128.09. The 30-year was off 23 Ticks at 155.17. King dollar. King dollar down 246 ticks. Trading 96.495. Euro at 112. Yen at 108.67. And the pound at 132 to 1 US dollar. We get over and we take a look at that US dollar, folks. US dollar this week, last week of December. Uh, bottom line, it actually, what the US dollar did is this. The Week of December 13th was the first break in the U.S. dollar on the, on the trend on the way down. That's when the U.S. dollar went from 97, 724 to 96, 588. Bottom line, you, you did the counter trend bounce. You got back up to the night, almost 98, 97, 800. You gave it up again. We're at the end of the month. The bottom line is that what you're going to see out here now is that you're going to see the U.S. dollar broke its uptrend that has been in place since, de since February of 2018. So it's pretty intense and it's, it's a break on a monthly basis. And folks, it is a break with conviction. What does a break with conviction mean? Well, if you're watching Tiger TV right now, you're going to see the chart that's up there. If I bring the trend line from the bottom of February 18th, you attach the four different uh, points in it. And what you're going to see is the bottom line, you broke that trend with conviction. What does that mean? What it means, number one, you'll set up first to try to get down to the 95 area, but on a longer term basis, meaning this was the almost two years going up, the longer term basis, the dollar's on its way back to 88. And right now you're at 96. I appreciate you growling a problem with us here at TFNN, folks. Have a great 2020. Come back and visit us. Larry Pezzavento kicking us off Thursday, 2020, nine o'clock in the morning, outstanding program. Be safe, folks. No drinking, no driving. Get that Uber. Have a great one.